Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am sharing a project. I am finishing off my granddaughter's yearly album by doing the covers. I'll be doing inside and outside of the covers and I will be using Denise Bodie papers for this project. I have used Denise's papers right throughout this whole album and um, shortly I will do a flip through of the whole album so you can see everything finished. So I'm going to start by choosing a couple of pattern papers to cover the outside of the album. Each of these <coughs> excuse me, pattern papers I'm going to cut six and three quarter inches by ten inches, which is the size of the cover from the black spine to the edge. I've used Denise Bodie design pattern papers throughout this album and I'm going to be using them for the covers as well. She's got four ranges and um, they all blend together beautifully and I'll put a link in the description box to her shop and her papers. Well, her shop, she also has lots of chipboard if you're interested in chipboard and other stuff of course as well. So that uh, link will be in the description box if you're interested in checking out her papers. I'm going to use my art glitter glue to attach the papers to the cover. This album, in case you didn't know, is um, a 8x10 album from Uniquely Creative and it's a ring bound album. And um, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed working with it. It's a four ring album, so the pages are nice and firm in there. They don't flop around all over the place. They sit nicely. So anyway, I'm using my art glitter glue to attach but those two pieces of paper to both the front and the back of the album and um, I'm going to put the papers in place and then use my uh, scraper to run over them to try and make sure that there's no air bubbles or um, creases anything like that in the papers when they're attached to the covers so now I'm doing the inside covers the front inside covers measures 8 inches by 10 inches and the spine piece is 1 and 5 eighths by 10 inches. I'm going to cut those and then use my art glitter glue once again to attach them to my cover. The pattern paper for the inside of the back cover measures 6 and 7 eighths by 10 inches. Throughout the whole album I have distressed and inked the edges of all of the pattern papers that I've used and I forgot to do that to these papers before I attached them to my covers so now to add that bit of distressed look I'm going to use my black fine pen and just draw a scribbly border around each of those pattern papers. I think it looks a lot better once I've done that. I wanted to add some texture to my front cover so I'm using um, a stencil from Kaisercraft it's called Love Quarters and there's four different heart style patterns on that stencil and I'm just going to use some modelling paste and my palette knife and just put a little bit of this uh, texture paste or modelling paste down the right hand edge of my album. 
Once I've finished that, I will set this aside to dry naturally. I don't usually use my heat gun to dry anything. I prefer to let everything dry on its own. Now that my texture paste is dry, I'm going to start embellishing the front of my album. I've got this lovely lace that I bought at Spotlight when I took my mum there when I was in Wyala recently. The Spotlight have just opened a new store there and uh, mum was quite impatient to go and see what they had. So I took her there and I found this lace and it's just lovely. So I'm going to add some of that here. I'm just going to use my art glitter glue to attach that to the wall where the black um, spine meets the front of the album. And then I'm going to put a strip of pattern paper and a strip of um, gold card. Now this is like a pearlized gold card and I'm going to attach the pattern paper onto the gold card so that about a quarter of an inch of the gold card is showing and then attach that assembly to the black um, spine so that it overlaps that seam or border of the lace. To do that all of that is done with my um, art glitter glue. Before I attach the pattern paper and the gold cardstock I will um, do a scribbly border around each of those as well so that it matches in with the border on the cover. I decided to use some of the um, Art Alchemy metallic paste or wax. I'm using the colour white gold and I'm just going to use my finger to rub some of that over the uh, texture paste areas just to give that gold touch to the other side of the page. This is very fiddly to use and um, trying to apply it to just the white areas was just about impossible. I did managed to get uh, gold onto the base paper but it doesn't look out of place so I'm quite happy with it. I did try to different few different ways to try and take it off with like with the baby wipe and things like that but didn't seem to budge it so uh, I'm just happy with how it looks so I'm happy to leave it as it is. Now to embellish my front cover I have fussy cut a couple of elements from one of the sheets or however many sheets I can't remember of um, patterns of paper from Denise's Cogs in Time uh, pattern range. Um, it's a sort of a steampunky sort of feel to the to the papers and I've fussy cut those out and I wanted to foam mount them on the front so that I've got nice that nice um, texture and that risen look and plus it has to go over the top of the lace and the texture paste so I, I thought it was pretty important that I lifted that up so I've got some foam sheets and I'm cutting pieces so that the backs of my images are fairly well covered in foam then just to help it stay stuck in place I'm adding some art glitter glue to that before I attach it to the front of my cover now I've got uh, two pieces and um, the one with the balloons which I did first is sort of like the background and then the one with the bodice and the hat um, sort of overlaps that and sits slightly above it. I decided to bring in a little bit more of that wax as a sort of shading on some of those elements so I'm just dipping my finger into it and then rubbing it um, lightly over some of the areas sort of like a shading on the balloons and the hat and the bodice. I think that uh, by doing that it sort of brings the colour from the hearts across and sort of makes it look like a whole project and not just bits and pieces. Now I'm going to make a pocket for the inside cover. Um, I'm going to cut a piece of pattern paper that measures 9 inches by 5 inches. And this will give me a pocket that measures 8 inches by 4.5 inches. I'll then score at half an inch on the two short sides and one long side. I'll cut the corners out on the two bottom sections that's the one that's got the score along the long side that is the bottom so I will cut the corners out of there on a slight angle and that will let me fold those 
um, half inch pieces up back behind my pocket. Now I will add liquid glue to those half inch fold, folded in pieces and attach that to my front inside cover. By doing it that way, it gives you a little bit more room in your pocket and um, it also makes your pocket the full width. So if you just glued it down without the uh, folded in pieces, you would lose some of the um, dimensions of your pocket. I use my bone folder to burnish that down quite firmly because I don't want this pocket, pocket to come off. Then I draw the scribbly border around the pocket so it fits in with the rest of the page. You see in the close-ups at the end of the video that I've made three tags to go in this pocket. Now to finish off my front cover, I'm going to put the year on there, so 2022. And to do that, I've die cut some black cardstock um, using my Dynamics high rise numbers. Now, I use these this die for lots and lots of numbers. Um, I, I love them. They're narrow, they're tall, they're about one and a half inches tall, and um, they don't take up a lot of room lengthways. So, you know, you can put 2022 20, on there without taking up six inches of your book. Anyway, I'm going to, I've cut them from black cardstock. I'm going to use my reverse tweezers and my art glitter glue and attach them to the top of the album above those hot air balloons and between the lace and the um, texture paste hearts. I've also cut a set from white cardstock and I'm going to attach these to the spine. To finish this off, I'm going to add a coat of uh, Dimensional Magic or Glossy Accents, um, same thing, to the black title and the white one down the spine. And that's going to complete my video for today. Um, thank you for joining me here. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. If you have, I'd love it if you gave my video a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, please think about subscribing to my channel and um, yeah apart from that thank you for being here and um, I hope you can join me when I post my next video bye